Madagascar abounds with chameleon species. Now, ordinarily, during the daytime, they're high up in the canopy, making them near impossible to see. However, during the night, many species descend to the lower reaches of their trees, making them particularly easy to spot with a headlamp. Here we have a very small, but very charming big-nosed chameleon. This is one of the smallest arboreal or tree-dwelling chameleon species, with total length including tail rarely exceeding 10 centimeters. The name, big-nosed chameleon, seems appropriate given the large protuberance on this male. These adornments are almost always only possessed by males and are used during territorial disputes, combat between males for mating privileges, and also as a means for females to judge the quality of their mate. They can be extremely colorful, such as the bright red nose of this blue-legged chameleon, or divided into separate, distinct projections, as possessed by this endangered, two-banded chameleon. But it is this rhinoceros chameleon that may be the most aptly named species. Male chameleons are generally more robust, colorful, or boldly patterned. They are often larger than females and have enlarged head casks, the helmet-like structure on the top of the head and sometimes possess long, spiny projections running along the back. This is a male Austelets chameleon, arguably the largest species in the world, with males capable of exceeding 60 centimeters, or 2 feet in total length. Here we see a sleeping adult female Austelets chameleon, and sleeping just behind her, a large adult male. The physical differences in coloration between the sexes are quite obvious. The sex of juvenile chameleons is often difficult to determine prior to maturity. This immature chameleon, which is clearly having a terrible night's sleep, is too young to determine sex based on a cursory inspection alone. It is a common misconception that chameleons change their color to match their surroundings. In reality, this adaptation is used for communication purposes. For example, this color changing ability is rapidly employed to communicate aggression, such as with a rival male, or to advertise whether a female is receptive to mating. This small side striped chameleon can help clarify this point as he presents a very differently colored and patterned side of his body towards what he perceives as a threat. The other side of his body, facing away from the threat, effectively remains neutrally colored. Chameleons are built for a life in the trees. Their tail is prehensile and can be used as a fifth limb when needed. The digits of their hands and feet are fused and opposed in such a way as to provide the perfect grip on tree branches. They are also unique among other lizards in that their bodies are raised high above their legs, making it much easier to navigate through the trees. This is a large adult male Parsons chameleon, the other contender for world's largest species. About the size of a house cat, even this big chameleon can deftly maneuver his way through the branches. Chameleons walk with a slow, halting motion to mimic leaves and branches swaying in a breeze. They will even time their movements to coincide with a gust of wind. Baby chameleons are miniature versions of their parents, and they even take their very first steps with the same deliberate swaying motion as adults. All chameleons are skilled hunters, with sophisticated stereoscopic vision that they use to locate and target their prey. This O'Shaughnessy's chameleon shows us how the eyes swivel independently from each other, offering a 360 degree field of view. With such a stealthy predator, it is difficult for prey to detect danger until it is too late. After locating their prey, in this case a big cicada fly, chameleons swing both eyes forward so that they can perfectly judge the distance before unleashing a sticky projectile tongue that, when accurate, hits the insect and quickly retracts, pulling the seized prey directly into the chameleon's mouth. This all happens in the blink of an eye. Not all chameleon species are big and colorful, but here, close to the forest floor, there exists a very special creature. It's a dwarf chameleon. No bigger than a pinky finger, this brown leaf chameleon is among the smallest chameleon species in the world. They spend most of their time on the forest floor hunting for food in the leaf litter, but in all other regards, their adaptations are identical to their bigger and more colorful cousins.